throughout my career, I've had been so lucky to be at ground zero several times when the next big thing happened, and I never realized it <laughs> for years later. Right. So it's, it's a just, common, common. I, I was one of 241 subscribers in 1991 uh, on Altered Hypertext, who saw Tim Berners-Lee's uh, you know, announcement of this World Wide Web project, and I kind of shrugged it off. It, it, that kind of thing happened. That's like being a founding member of Pearl Jam and not knowing it. Uh, right. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, so, um, so having said that, what is top of mind for me and what I'm both excited and terrorized by is, um, uh, is next month we will have our beta launch of the universal speech-to-speech trans -speech translator for Skype. And, um, what, you know, can you explain what does that do? What is the problem it solves? So, um, so Skype for me and others in our research lab is a symbol of, it's a symbol. It's a symbol of democratized access to global telecommunications. It's a connector for free for anyone who can get access to the internet. And so the dream is to turn that into a portal that eliminates language barrier. Oh, so I could speak to somebody who speaks Mandarin and I speak in English. That's and right. We can communicate. And so uh, this is something we've been working on very hard. And um, we got ambushed by our new uh, CEO, Satya Nadella. He demonstrated uh, the lab prototype that we had last May uh, here in the Silicon Valley at the Code Conference. And on stage, surprised us all by saying that we would deliver the beta by the end of this calendar year. Ouch. Ouch. We are on track to do that. Um, in how many languages? So we'll start very <coughs> conservatively um, uh, with, uh, with <coughs> care uh, next month. But then as the year goes on, more and more languages will. Uh, US roll English up. to UK English. Yeah, Armenian to yeah. Um, um, <laughs> Esperanto to. Um, but, um, and, you know, the thing that I think is special about it for us is it's not driven, first and foremost, by any profit motive or any, um, by any revenue model. I'm sh sure that the Skype uh, business guys will find a way to make money from it, but it really comes from a dream about where we can go with very, very massive scale machine. But that is an enterprise application for what is, for Skype, in a sense, that we're, which has been a... Yeah, if you look at what Skype users are doing today, most of them are speaking in their native tongue with people. Yeah, uh, like I, my tongue. kids. Or, so it's a know. different use case, for sure.